Okay people, this is himself, and in this video I'm going to show you King's ultimate tackle. I'll explain the moves that he has, the ochre you get, and the breaks for each one. I'm also going to show you a 100 plus damage combo related to this subject, so stick around for that. So the ultimate tackle is from crouching 1 plus 2, and this is a mid hitting throw, so they can't duck it. Instead, they have to escape it, and there's two ways of doing this. The first is when the tackle connects. At this point, if they hit 2, they'll break the throw and you end up back turned. The other is when they hit the ground. At this point, if they hit 1 plus 2, they'll flip you over and you end up facing them. Assuming a successful tackle, you'll do 5 points of damage, and from there you have 3 options. The first is mounted punches. This is done using 1 or 2, and you can do it 4 times. But what's important are the first and last punches, because these are the points where they can break the move. If you do a 1 punch, they can break it with 2, and if you do a 2 punch, they can break it with 1. But this isn't a simple 50-50, because what you'll learn later is that King has 1 plus 2 breaks as well. Assuming you've done all 4 punches, you'll deal 35 damage. But it isn't over yet, because you still have OK options. The best follow up is probably Alley Kick. This hits front rolls, side rolls and people lying idle. It also beats wake up kicks. But you'll lose that to recovery kick and anyone who stands or back rolls into a crouch. On top of that, you'll also whiff against spring kick. To deal with those options, we can use Knuckle Bomb. This launches anyone crouching and even if they block it, you're still at plus 2. It also crushes the low kick and the recovery kick. The problem though is that you'll be beaten by mid kick and it still loses that to spring kick. To cover that we can use FF4. This is also a mid so it still hits crouches but it also beats spring kick. On top of that against both wake up kicks you'll get the DDT so you have even more damage. But against recovery kick, you'll still be beaten out, and on block it's minus 15, so even with the pushback, you'll probably take some damage. A riskier option is sight up right into Atlas Hammer. Again, this is a mid, so you'll still launch crouches, but you'll also launch the wake up kicks and the recovery kick, and it also hits spring kick. The danger though is that on block it's heavily punishable, so I'd only use it if you get a hard read. What that leaves is side rolls and staying grounded, and your best option is ground throws. The 2 throw will give you the figure 4, while the 1 throw gives you the head bomber. The second option from the tackle is arm lock, and this is done using 1 plus 2. Now most characters have this, but King has a follow up, and it's done using 1 plus 2 again, and what makes it better is that it has no break. The first arm lock can be broke with 1 plus 2, but if they miss that, the second one is guaranteed, so effectively you're doing 40 damage. But that's not all, because you get Oki as well, and from my testing an alley kick is guaranteed. It doesn't matter if they stand up, back roll or side roll, this will hit, and that means your total damage is actually 51. But if you get a hard read, you have some other options. F plus 2 1 will hit standers, back rollers and wake up kicks, and if someone just stands, then you can use the D1 version. Also, if you're sure they're going to wake up kick, then you can launch them with the hop knee. The only danger is if they stand up or back roll, you'll whiff, and then you'll probably get launched yourself, so you do need to be careful with this one. What that leaves is side rolling and staying grounded, and your best option here is ground throws again. You do have to step forward to land them, but what you'll get is the wing terror. Now before I go into the next section, I want to mention that my next King video will be on Olympian Slam or the three clotheslines, I just haven't decided which one it'll be. So why not help me out and let me know in the comments which one you want to see. And while you're at it, why not subscribe? That way you'll know when the video comes out and you won't miss anything. The third and final option is leg lock and this is done by 3 plus 4. Now they can break this with 1 plus 2 just like arm lock. And at first this seems inferior because it does less damage. But what makes up for that is the follow up stretch combo 1 plus 2. Now this is a just frame, so you might not always get it, but when you do, the move is unbreakable and that takes your total damage to 55. Personally, I wish something like this would have been his rage art, because King is a grappler and to me, finishing them with a load of locks and throws would have been way better. But back to the tackle, if you don't get stretch combo, don't worry, because you still have some great options. The best one is probably DB3 and that's because it's guaranteed. It doesn't matter if they stand up or back roll or side roll, they're gonna get hit. 
so really the leg lock damage is more like 38. But if you get a hard read or you want to do more damage, you do have some other options. The first one is up for 3. This is one point more damage and it's almost guaranteed. The only way they can escape is by side running left. But on bigs, this might actually still hit, so it's worth a try. Next one is Crouch Dash 1 plus 2, aka Black Bomb. Now this will hit front rolls, side rolls and people staying grounded. And it also punishes recovery kick. And on top of that, it counts it launches get up kicks. Sadly, people who stand or back roll will block it. But on the bright side, you're safe at minus 5. Third option is Atlas Hammer. Now this launches anybody who wake up kicks or get up kicks. But what makes it more useful is that it also hits people who stand up or back roll. Sadly, it doesn't launch them and the damage isn't great, but it's good to know the option's still there. The fourth option is Body Splash, and this is probably the only place where I'd use this move. Because of the hitbox, you actually hit people in the back, and it works against standards and back rollers. It also hits people side running left, but to get it to work, you have to enter the command a little differently. What you do is quarter circle forward, 4, 2 plus 3. And what this does is it shortens the range, so you actually end up closer to the opponent rather than overshooting them. The fifth option is DB2, and this is great against people who back roll because it hits them at a frame where they're standing but can't block, so you get a full launch. It also hits wake up kicks and the recovery kick, so you get damage there as well. The last option I have for you is just for fun, and it's drop kick. What this does is it works great against people who stand because you'll get a cross up and who doesn't love that? So that's what you get if you miss the stretch combo, but what are your options if you actually land it? Well in my opinion the ochre you get here is the best of the bunch. From my testing an alley kick is guaranteed, doesn't matter if they stand up or back roll or side roll, this'll hit and it means that the stretch combo damage is actually 66. But if you get a hard read, then you have some other options. And the one that I'd go for is Hopney. And this is because it launches wake up kicks and back rollers. It also launches standards, but because it's back turned, you can get a burning knuckle as well. What that leaves is staying grounded and side rolling. And your best option here is, yes, you guessed it, ground throws. Against idlers, you'll get bow and arrow stretch plus alley kick. But against side rollers, you'll get half Boston Crab. And from there, you can choose to do another ground throw or a guaranteed people's elbow. But the best case scenario is when you have rage, because here the rage drive is super useful. Against standards, back rollers and get up kicks, you get a launch and against idlers and side roll right, you hit them grounded. So from there, you can do half Boston Crab or a guaranteed jumping elbow. The only way they can escape this is by side roll left. But when we have rage, that's exactly what we want them to do. Because from here, we can get half Boston Crab. And from there, we get a guaranteed rage drive. Now as you've already seen, this then allows us to do another Boston Crab and get even more damage. And if you add all of that together with the stretch combo damage, you actually do 190, which is enough to kill. Before I move on to the last section of this video, I want to mention that you can do both the arm lock and the leg lock after the first three punches. But with the leg lock, Kim recovers much slower and that means you don't get all those OK options. So personally, I'd stay away from this variant. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned a 100 plus damage combo, and that's what I'm going to show you next. With the leg lock, what I forgot to mention is that the rage drive is guaranteed, and since this hits grounded, you have enough time to sidestep into a people's elbow and then do an alley kick. But what you can also do is sidestep around to the feet and do a ground throw. And if you're on Forbidden Realm, you can use Head Bomber. This then breaks the floor, and if you're in the right position, you can do 101 damage. As always, I hope you guys learned something here. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. 
If you think I've missed something out or got something wrong, then let me know in the comments. There's more King content to come, so keep your eyes peeled for that, and I'll see you guys in the future.